Shot in front, saved by Symington. Save again by Symington. Kern across the red line, has Prate on the left wing, gets it over to Prate. Prate in front, his shot, saved by Symington. Oh, trying to get an offensive rush going. He works the puck over to the far side for Jane. Jane up the right wing, he shoots and scores! Roadrunners now got numbers coming back the other way. Protopapis has Cotterill on the right-hand side. Protopapis shoots, scores! Dakota Pappas goes top shelf over Panecki. Roadrunners go back in front by two. And that's gonna do it, the buzzer sounds. The MyCore Roadrunners coming south of their border from Canada win the 1996 North American Roller Hockey Championship in the Junior Platinum Division. What an unbelievable game this was. We have the Toronto Tigers versus the Toronto Tornado. Yes, an all Toronto matchup. Women's coach Ken Dufton came into this tournament with the hopes of winning a championship title. He has already accomplished that goal. How you may ask when the championship game is just underway? Well, let me tell you, he is the coach of both these teams, the Tornado and the Tigers. Turk now coming back the other way. She's got a two on one if she hurries. She gives the puck up to Dosser. Dosser now, back to Turk. Turk in front, back to Dosser. She shoots and scores! Play broken up by the second defender. Coming all the way back now on the breakaway is Ursula May. She skates all the way and leaves the puck in front for Christina Sorbera. She shoots and scores! Hi, and welcome to Chandler, Arizona. I'm Gray Stenhouse, and this is the Chandler Sports Spectrum, known to many as the Machine Shot. Now, how did this nickname come about? Well, as one of the premier roller hockey facilities in the entire country, the Spectrum is not only host to some of the biggest roller hockey tournaments in the world, but it also serves as the home rink for Team Gear. Tiffany Owens able to track down the loose puck, bouncing in the crease. Gautier now trying to clear along the far side, able to do so. Skating all the way to Scott Swenson. He goes right in front for Marquez, who shoots and scores. Swenson to Marquez on the one-timer, and Team Shoregrip right back in this game. Puck now comes near side for Wishenbomber. Wishenbomber now, he fires a shot and it scores! Wishenbomber from way downtown, bang! Puck on the near side for Herber, he fires one in front, saved by Webb. Loose puck now in the slot, nobody can come out with it. Puck is finally cleared all the way back in the Viking zone. It's gonna be chased down there by Wishenbomber, he better hurry, we're inside of 10 seconds left to go. Coming in the slot now is Desjardins. He shoots. Oh, a beautiful sprawled out diving defensive stop by Team Easton's Chip Kenyon. I don't believe it. Stopping the last possible chance for the Franklin LaBeta Vikings. What a play, sacrificing his body for the team. Team Easton wins the game four to three. They are your 1996 North American Roller Hockey Champions in the Men's Senior Platinum Division. As many roller hockey fans know, Team Gear is one of the premier tournament teams in the entire world, competing against some of the best gold and platinum level competition the sport has to offer. Over the last 18 months, our broadcast team has been following Team Gear around the country. We've got footage from some of the best roller hockey teams and players from around the world, so stick around. Sun Devils fall in the Pac-10 tournament opener. From the Blaze 1260 AM Sports Desk, I'm Gray Stenhouse. ASU fell to the Washington Huskies 59-51 at the Staples Center in the first round of the Pac-10 basketball tournament. Despite 13 points from Jaron Ship and 7 rebounds from Jeff Pendergraft and a 45-41 lead with 8.5 minutes to play, the Sun Devils fell to the Huskies for the 10th straight time. In other Sun Devil news, the third-ranked ASU softball team pushed their record to 22-2 with a win over Creighton. Led by pitcher Megan Elliott's complete Game 4 hit shutout, the Sun Devils downed the Jays 4-0. ASU will now gear up for their fourth home tournament of the year as they host the Pac-10 versus Big 12 tournament this weekend. The number 11 Sun Devil baseball team welcomes number 19 Long Beach State for three games this weekend after dropping two of three at Auburn last week. Coverage for Saturday's game begins at 12.30 right here on the Blaze, 1260 AM. The Phoenix Suns had their hands full with the Lowly Bobcats at home but came away with a 115-106 overtime victory. Charlotte has lost seven straight. Leandro Barbosa had a career-high 32 points, hitting on 7 of 11 three-point attempts, and Steve Nash added 24 points and 11 assists. The Suns played the final 25 minutes without Amari Stoudemire when he was ejected after picking up his second technical foul in the third quarter. Stoudemire has 14 technicals on the season, two more and he will be suspended for one game. On a day that will see a total of 53 NCAA basketball games covering 15 conference tournaments, early scores are already rolling in. 
In the Big East tournament, the Georgetown Hoyas jumped out early on Villanova, building a 26-2 lead to open the game, but had to hang on to beat the Wildcats 62-57. In the ACC, Florida State down Clemson 67-66 on a late free throw in the closing seconds. In perhaps the busiest and most profitable for player off-seasons in NFL history, two more big-name free agents have signed with new teams. Former Saints wide receiver Joe Horn signed with the Atlanta Falcons for a reported $19 million over four years. 2003 Offensive Player of the Year and now former Ravens running back Jamal Lewis signed with the Cleveland Browns for one year at $3.5 million. The Ravens weren't without a tailback for long as today they traded for Bills running back Willis McGahee. In return, the Bills received the Ravens' third and seventh round picks in the upcoming draft and a third round pick in 2008. That's your bottom of the hour sports update. I'm Gray Stenhouse and now back to more music on The Blaze, 1260 AM. Top NFL picks admit to marijuana use from the Blaze 1260 AM Sports Desk. I'm Gray Stenhouse. According to a report from Pro Football Weekly, three potential top ten picks in the upcoming NFL draft admitted to marijuana use during interviews at February's NFL Scouting Combine. Georgia Tech wide receiver Calvin Johnson, Clemson defensive end Gaines Adams, and Louisville defensive tackle Amobe Okoye, according to multiple sources who've watched the interviews, all admitted to using marijuana. It's too early to say what effect, if any, the report will have on the player's draft status. The White Sox' Mark Burley pitched Chicago's first no-hitter since 1991, blanking the Texas Rangers 6 to nothing. Burley faced the minimum 27 batters, picking off the only base runner he allowed on a walk to Sammy Sosa in the fifth inning. Burley struck out eight on the night in a game that took just two hours and three minutes. Reigning National League MVP Ryan Howard injured a ligament below his left knee, running out a fielder's choice in the 10th inning of the Phillies' loss to the Nationals. Howard was not in the Phillies' starting lineup today and will be listed as day-to-day. In Major League Baseball action already underway this afternoon, the Phillies lead Washington 4-0 in the 7th, Boston on top of Toronto 5-3 in the 9th, Cleveland and the Yankees tied at 1 in the 7th, Milwaukee 7, Pittsburgh 3 also in the 7th, and the Dodgers and Rockies are scoreless in the 2nd. First pitch for the Diamondbacks and the Padres is just minutes away. The seventh-ranked Sun Devil softball team won its biggest game of the season, rallying for a 6-3 win over third-ranked in-state rival Arizona. ASU pitcher Katie Burkhart struck out 13, allowing just two hits, and Mindy Cowles hit a two-run homer, helping push the Sun Devils' record to 40-10 overall and 6-3 in the Pac-10. The 10th-ranked ASU baseball team welcomes Louisiana Lafayette for a three-game series beginning on Friday night at Packard Stadium. Tune into The Blaze, 1260 AM, starting at 645 for all your pregame and coverage of every pitch. The Phoenix Suns had to wait until last night to find out their first-round playoff opponent. The Lakers' 117-106 win over the Kings set them up for a first-round rematch with the Suns. Last season, the Suns came back from a 3-1 deficit to beat the Lakers in seven. The series gets underway Sunday at noon. Other first-round Western Conference playoff matchups include Dallas and Golden State, who ended a 13-year playoff drought with a win in Portland. San Antonio and Denver, and Houston versus Utah. Over in the Eastern Conference, the number one seed Pistons take on the Magic, Cleveland faces Washington, the Raptors battle New Jersey, and the Bulls take on the Heat. The NBA playoffs get underway on Saturday. That's your bottom of the hour sports update. I'm Gray Stenhouse, and now back to more music on the Blaze, 1260 AM. Spinners! Arizona State Disc Golfers, have you been searching for a pro shop that carries more than just a few used discs? Look no further. Spinners! Your ultimate one-stop shop for all your disc golfing needs. We carry a huge assortment of discs, bags, baskets, shirts, and hats from all the top brands. Innova, Discraft, Lightning, Millennium, Ching, and more. Spinners! Located just minutes from the ASU campus at the southeast corner of McDowell and Roosevelt, just above the 10th hole of the Shelley Sharp Memorial Disc Golf Course. Spinners! 